Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11, and I'm bringing a really quick viewer request here. Uh, 13 months ago, I applied iron armor truck bed coating to my Jeep Cherokee XJ. Um, I did a coating up on the roof, and I did a coating on the hood. And I had a viewer ask me, "Hey, how's that? Uh, how's that um, truck bed coating holding up? Is it still?" on there? Is it peeling? Is it coming off? Is it cracking? What's it doing? Well, if you go back and watch a video from 13 months ago, and eventually here, guys, I'll post the uh, the link to the video on this video when I get a chance. Uh, you know, it was a lot shinier uh, when I first applied it. It was only about a day old or a couple hours old uh, when I showed off that first video. Now, I've done the roof before uh, twice. This is the second time that I've, that I've had to coat it um, because it was starting to kind of rust through a little bit. But the hood has held up really well. And I mean, we've gone through 12 months of Nebraska weather, which is the extremes. And it is starting to like fade evenly all the way around. There's a few dark spots here and there, but it's starting to turn into just like a lighter shade of black, essentially. And uh, almost like a, like a gray, um, which is normal, which is what the roof did before. And it's held up just fine. I mean, you can see the texture and stuff. They didn't turn out perfect, but, you know, it was basically a $40 solution to a $4,000 problem after my Jeep got hailed on the hood, the roof, and all that fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, I went ahead and applied that. Again, that's the Iron Armor truck bed coating. Sometimes you can get dented cans of it at Harbor Freight on sale. I think I paid 35 or 40 bucks for the can, and uh, it really wasn't that bad. So just kind of show you some different angles of it. Hopefully my shadows won't block, block too much of the hood, but it's perfectly resistant to everything. Now, up on the roof, I did have a couple sections that I had to repair. I hit something, I don't know what, a couple things bounced off the roof on a few trips that I had down the interstate and took a few little tiny chunks, about maybe dime-sized chunks of the uh, coating out of the roof, and I just went back and recoated it. So it's, it's a lot darker and shinier, but those patches will eventually just blend in as time goes on. So that was just kind of something that I had to do to patch it up. That was the first time I ever had to do that. I have no clue what a hit course so i was probably going 75 or you know 80 miles an hour down the interstate um another thing also this is just kind of unrelated but i picked up one of these um ae industries i'll hold this so you guys can see it uh this is a pinstripe eraser pad and adapter set okay there's the stock number and the upc number i bought this from amazon and you basically get the uh this puck with your your adapter on it that you can use in a screwdriver i'm sorry not a screwdriver in a drill okay a corded drill and make sure you follow the directions for how you do this because you don't want to burn through the paint or tear this thing apart when you're using it. Um, essentially, what I did was, was I just heated up the side moldings with a heat gun, and then I just used a plastic, oh, it was like some trim puller or like a little spatula to basically pull the trim away from the body. And when that was done, I had a bunch of adhesive all over the place on the sides of it. So instead of spending a couple hours with a, a washcloth and some acetone, I went ahead and just used this, uh, this, this eraser pad and just whizzed across it. It took me about... Probably 25 minutes to do each side, and it's not perfect. I still need to use some abrasive rubbing compound to get some of the swirl marks out of it. It's actually leftover residue from this little disc that I used, but I used it to take off the uh, the side moldings. Now I posted a picture of this on Instagram, and it just the the lines just look so much better in my opinion than it did before uh, when I had the molding on there. The molding was starting to peel away. The molding was cracking. It was graying, so I just wasn't that impressed with it. So, yeah, if, you get a, you get a, if you're an XJ owner and you want to take off that trim, this is the easy way to do it. That was not cheap. These things run about $17 or $18, if I'm not mistaken, maybe $20. Um, but you could use it. I could probably use it at least at one more time on another vehicle if I had to. So just a few minor changes to the XJ that I wanted to share with you. So, yeah, the Iron Armor truck bed coating is holding up just fine. It survived rain, hail, snow, sleet, ice, multiple car washes. You know, and it's faded, but I don't really care. I think it looks kind of cool anyway for what it is. Um, you know, at some point I could always put a new hood on it if I wanted to. And then also that little um, AE Industries um, eraser puck. So that's something to check out. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you for joining me today. This is Travis B11. Please like or subscribe. Give me a little uh, Jeep Cherokee update. Actually, real quick before we go, here's the uh, UPC code on that truck bed coating if you want to buy some. That's what you want to look for when you go to Harbor Freight. Very easy to work with. I mean, it's good, durable stuff. You want to make sure that you sand down the surface. Roll on at least two coats of it. Just use a, I just used a paint roller, and that was it. I mean, it, you know, it's not perfect, but I'm happy with it. So there you go. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, you can also follow me over on GunChannels.com with uh, the Ordinary Average Guy Gun Channel and my gun podcast, Caliber Corner, which we do on Saturdays most times. Um, otherwise, I think that's about it, guys. So... Thanks for joining us today. Have a great uh, day, and uh, all right, we'll talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.